I've been preparing the ministry for our move. And there was a hold up with the building. Mm. You said the Lord said to blow the shofar. And then she came back and said, get the boxes. I've been telling the church, even in my house, I told them I'm moving. Jesus. Wow. And we've been preparing. I don't know where I'm going. I already laid it out. And I told them they can keep all the furniture. And I'm just going to go wherever God says. He already took me to the location. He said, whatever you ask for in the house is going to be there. Thank you, Lord. He said, with or without them, you're moving. Thank you, Lord. So to get the confirmation and so, and I was, you know, at first I was a little bothered because I told the church to come, but God said, the women that's coming on tonight, some are going to miss it. Yeah. Yeah. He said the ones, it's not like they could take this home and tell them to yeah. receive it because they missed it. Yeah. He said, but the ones that came on the band, Jesus. the ones that came in the band, there's a special blessing in their obedience. Amen. 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 God knows. And I told him in the church this morning, I said, there's something great coming to me. Oh, and I said, you should get excited because if I was not get it, it's yes, coming on to yes, you. Yes, That's right. And God is canceling the spirit of jealousy in the church. Yes, yes, I said, if I rejoice, you then rejoice. you rejoice. That's right. Today may be my day, but tomorrow is yours. Yes. I was talking to my sister, my mom. They know we're going to get boxes. We've been talking about it. Sat them down, had meetings. I told my children, I said, Get ready, we're moving. They're like, Where we go? I have no idea. Mm. I said, All I know is it's a mansion because God keeps showing me the room, the spaces. I said, Get ready, you're moving. And then we come on tonight, and here's the same word again. The same word. The people of New Beginnings, they know, they've heard it. They've heard it, so they know I'm not just standing trying to make Pastor LaKenya feel good. They know this is the word of the Lord. We've heard it every place we've been this year. To the point one prophet has walked us through my house, told me what was in the house. And said the same thing to get some boxes. And the Lord had me up last night. He said, you got to move. It's too small in here. And so I hear the word of the Lord. And wherever he's taking me, I'm never going to forget the people of God. And my friends in ministry, the chief apostle, I'll never forget. I'll never forget her daughter and her granddaughter. I'll never forget the people of God. Because if he takes me up, I'm bringing you up too. Amen. Because it's all about God. Amen. I just want to openly say this. Chief Apostle Jesse, I'm so grateful to God for your obedience. Yes, God. To move. You didn't know me, never heard of me. You just heard about me through Apostle Movement, but the Spirit of the Lord yes. led us together yes. and knitted our hearts. Yes, yes. Amen. yes. And even though we don't talk a lot, I feel you praying for me. I see your face come up and I begin to pray. And then when I see your face come up, I see you on your knees in prayer. 
And so coming here wasn't a chore or a task for me. Because I love to honor and appreciate the people of God. I'll never forget the word you spoke when I came here the last time. That word was spoken over my life the entire year. Even in Africa, I was telling Chief Apostle. Even in Africa, they spoke the same prophetic word. And those people in Africa, they speak um, Swahili. So they had to interpret the word. But it was the same word that you gave me when I was here the last time. So I don't take the words of God for granted. I know that great things are coming. I know I'm going to be very wealthy. I know when he keeps speaking me, speaking it to me. He keeps taking me. I go in the store. I pick the most expensive sweater. Some people might think, oh, she goes shopping. But you know that's a sign. Because if you pick the most expensive thing, that means you have the money to buy it. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. So I'm getting ready so that when God gives it to me, I can disperse it amongst his people. Because that's what I'm going to do with it. And that's where God wants us to be. When he gives it to us, that we're able to give it out with distribution centers. So I celebrate your victories. And all of your successes. And all of what God's about to do. Because greater is on its way. You're already at great, but greater is on its way. You haven't seen anything yet. You just tap the surface. I, I hear God say, you need to get some photo shoots. Like, go do some photo ops. And, and get somebody to do, you know how you have like a videographer, like somebody to do a video and do like a little infomercial. You know how you practice it for TV? I the Lord said, start practicing. You know, sometimes we think it's crazy, but you, it's a certain thing that you got to do. You know, somebody said to me, the reason why you keep getting invited to TVN is because you're going to be a host on TVN. So they said, every time you go, we, they said, you need to watch the host. See what the host does, see how he acts, how she responds, because that's what you want to do. Amen. I remember going to my bishop's church in July. And I was like, maybe I'll downplay what I wear, you know, because anybody knows me, I love to dress. Yeah. I was like, downplay my clothes to take. And the Lord said, take what you normally wear, take your stuff. The prophet has said to me, she said, God's getting you ready to be a host wow. on TBN. Wow. She said, so you got to keep dressing the way you're dressing because as a host, they dress. Right. 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 So I tell you, woman of God, start practicing. Amen. Start practicing. Make sure your makeup is flawless. Amen. Make sure your stuff, because you know they give you different instructions for TV. You can't wear the green <coughs> too much blade because it goes against the camera and the lighting. The right. colors you can't wear. You can't wear plaids and all that stuff. See, we think it's cute here, but our TV in classrooms. Right. So start practicing now. Oh God. So right. when you shift into that mode, which is about to come, you, you'll be ready. Amen. Tell your neighbor, I'm not gonna hate. I'm not gonna hate. I'm gonna celebrate. I'm gonna celebrate. I'm gonna celebrate. Yeah. I'm gonna celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. Because God's about to do something awesome. Oh, yes, He is. And the anointing on her is, is already falling on you. Amen. It's already falling on you. Stay Amen. in your place. Amen. No matter what nobody thinks about you, they can call you kiss up, brown nose, red nose, blue off the red nose, rain hair, whatever they want to call it. That's right. Don't you move. That's right. Because the mantle that's on you, on her, is falling on you double time. Amen. And the preach in you has not yet been heard of before. Amen. The word that's in your mouth, do the laughter that you give, but there's going to be a word attached to the laughter. Watch. Okay. Watch. Soon, the Lord says. Soon. He's already perfecting those things, cultivating the gifts. Soon, the Lord says. Man to us falling on bust out and prophesy people are gonna fall out under the anointing. Mm. You can talk about it because see you've been through some stuff in your past relationships that people thought you should have died through it, but you made it out. Made it out. Some people think they know the story, but they don't know half the story. That's right. I tell people, if you want to know my story, ask me. Ask me. me. You were there when I was mugged and Thank you. So you see me now. That's right. You don't know what I that's right. Yep. Yeah. But through your that's story, that's right. Ask me. That's where the glory is coming that's out. That's right. No matter what they think about you, 
because they got you wrong anyway. Right. Right. Keep on doing what you do. Yes. Making the sacrifice and giving her the best. That's right. You remind me of my sister. Because it don't matter what the price is. If you see it and you know she don't like it, you buy it. My sister said, I got some stockings for you. She stopped by my house this morning, Chief Apostle, and in the bag it was stockings, it was t-shirts, and it was a sweater. We went into the Gap a couple of weeks ago, me, her, and my mother, we was walking through the mall. I went there, and I'm just tagging along. I saw a nice poncho, off-white poncho. I said, wow, that poncho was nice. It was like 70 bucks. I said, I ain't spending 70 bucks, but I like the poncho. I said, about four times. Looked at it, pulled it out, said this was the size I would get. We walked through the store and we had to come back out the same store. I looked at it again. The next day was pastoral appreciation. Somebody handed me a box. I didn't think it was my bag. I thought it was, I said, somebody bag. I said, that's your bag, Pastor. After church, somebody said, Pastor, you want to open it? I opened the box, and in the box was a poncho that I walked past twice in the store. Amen. My sister got it. So don't despise the day of small beginning. Because God's going to reward you greatly. You're going to be wealthy because in order for you to take care of the people of God, God got to give you the resources. You think you're making money now? You haven't seen nothing yet. I hear the Lord said to get into real estate. I hear him say, get into real estate investments. I hear properties all over you. Invest. Go buy them old rehabilitated properties. He said, buy them and flip them. And the Lord said, flip them. He said, you're a business, corporate-minded woman. Yep. He said, your wealth is in that. He's going to connect you with some Jewish people. Some Jewish people are going to come and connect with you. And they're going to show you because Jewish people are kind of stingy. But they know how to keep that money in reserve. Very smart, very crafty. And God says he's going to connect them with you because, see, you know, when we're African American, you know, we we we're we're spenders. We're you know, we spend everything we get. But Jewish people will teach you how to keep it and kind of flip it and, and shift it and put it into different reserve tanks. Yes. So that's why he's sending the Jewish people around you to help you with the money, so you'll know where to shift it and what to put in it, so to give you back a return on investment. Yes. Come on, let's stand to our feet. We're going home. Amen. Hallelujah. See, I know that was her word, but you should have got happy. Amen. Amen. If God sent you somebody, you in the house, that means I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. If you flip in the house, I'm going to flip one too. Right. Some Jewish people don't connect, I'm going to give me a Jewish friend. Yeah. See, that's how you shift it. That's why you're going to be all jealous and, and mad. That's so right. Word, I'm in the service, so I'm going to snatch that word in too. He told Pastor McKinney to prepare for TV. I'm going to start preparing too. That's right. That's right. Amen, somebody. Amen. If you're in the midst of a service and not speaking to somebody, grab the word for yourself. Amen. Right. Right. Hey, somebody said, I got it. I heard the lady right there that's bleeding in the black. She said, I got that word. Right. Right. Amen, somebody. Right. We are going on. Once again, we celebrate you. Yeah. Great, awesome woman of God, so accurate and the prophetic. You need a prophetic school. You need a prophetic school to teach people about walking accurately in the prophetic. God says no more delay. So it's time to launch that school. People need to be trained. No more delay. They need to be trained. God says no more waiting. He said I'll send the resources. Try to go home, but it's so much word lingering. There's so so much word. Amen. There's a daycare center. Amen. There's a daycare center. Because God wants see. God don't want you to think that if you don't give your money, that the church don't go up. So that's why God is allowing the church to become business minded and keep the principle. So when you don't bring your five dollar ties into the church, keep on moving. that the daycare center will still bring right. in the money. Yeah, right. So the church will still function and operate. Right. Yeah. Amen. You know, I keep it real. Yeah. 
Because you know, people believe that if they don't bring their money to church, they gonna close up. Right. Yeah. That's right. But the Bible says, except the Lord build the house. Yeah. 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 And then, except yeah. he builds it. Yes. I tell my members, if you ain't giving nothing, it ain't gonna bother me, it's bothering you. Right. Because you're the one that's gonna suffer yeah. because of your disobedience. Yeah. Trying to go home, Chief Apostle. 